It's the 15th of October, this is the Weekly Spread. Welcome everybody to another episode of the Weekly Spread. I'm Jason, this is Rick. Hey guys. And this is the show where we talk about shit that we found interesting throughout the week. And holy shit, Rick. <laughs> it's, it's been a week, especially in movies. We've got a lot to talk huge. about. A lot to talk about in streaming and that as well. So yeah. certainly real surprising stories that we definitely need to cover. So let my like, F around, let's get straight into it and talk movies. Rick, well, look, I can't even go anywhere talking about any movies because the biggest story in the movie world's got nothing to do about films, nope. but got to do about the people who make it. That's right. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've been pretty aware this week that Harvey Weinstein has been fired from the company that he co-owns, Weinstein <sighs> Company, for allegations of sexual harassment with multiple actresses, uh, writers, producers. This is huge, this Rick. Is it is one of the biggest stories that is, and scandals that has hit Hollywood in <laughs> decades. You've got famous <laughs> actresses such as Ashley Judd. You've got um, Rose McGowan, all making serious, depraved allegations against Harvey Weinstein, where he's been caught masturb- He wanted to masturbate in front of him. <laughs> That he would make he would make them uh, watch Bobby. him shower. Jeez. Um, certainly some really horrific, disgusting things that he uh. was doing. A real, a real, just just an animal to be doing this. And uh. the problem is, Rick, it's the scandal it hasn't just hit him. It, the ripple effect is huge. no. That's right. It's massive. Yeah, yeah. That's um, right. You're talking about you know um, people staying, staying silent for decades. They knew this was going on. But it was all, oh, well, you know what Harvey's like. It was just unacceptable that these young women had to go through such um, poor treatment. And now what it has exposed is the misogyny in um, Hollywood is so extreme. I mean, you, you've now got rid of Harvey Weinstein, mm. but he's only the tip of the iceberg, mate. Oh, there's probably a lot more there. Ben Affleck was caught up in some, some scandal this week with... Uh, some reporters saying that he touched them inappropriately. But then that came out, it was it yeah. was all staged and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's not just about women too. No. We've had two actors <laughs> yes. come out saying yes. that they have been sexual. <laughs> the great Terry Crews uh, was uh, grabbed, uh, you know, by a producer on the groin. You've got James Vanderbeek who was proposition. I, I, you know... Dawson days, man. Dawson days, yes. but mate, wow. in, in all seriousness, you've got a legacy that has probably lasted. I mean, we, we're exposing Harvey Weinstein now, but yeah, Hollywood for its depravity and its treatment of women um, and men and actors and young people in the industry um, has been horrendous for decades. So, I mean, these poor women have gone through that traumatic thing mm. and they just can't bring themselves to well, tell someone after all these years. Well, well, well you, like, you, you know. spend your whole life wanting to be an actress, mm. an actor. And so you meet one of the most powerful Hollywood producers yeah. in the world. You say something, at that stage, your career was over. Mm. It was done. It was dusted. So they didn't say anything based upon fear, fear yeah. for their career. Fear for what may happen to them and what may happen to people around them. And I'm not talking more than violence, just being black banned. Do we know how this actually started with Harvey? Well, that is the million dollar question here, Rick, because the, all the reports and rumours to say how this all kind of came out was by his brother. Oh, his Bob brother. Bob Weinstein, co-owner of the Weinstein Company. Wow, okay. They have been not getting along for a while now, and the strong tip is he released all the information. So just threw him under the bus, that was it. Unbelievable. So you've got, I mean, what a story here, Rick. That's you've huge. got sex, you've got threats, you've got like, like, yeah, violence, you've got family like being broken apart. I mean, this, this whole story itself... We'll make a great movie one day. I'm sure it will. Um, Someone will do it. You know? Maybe his brother might do it. I mean, you got people who, like George <clears throat> Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, Kevin Smith, who all um, worked with uh, Bob Weinstein, I'm oh, sorry, Harvey, Harvey Weinstein, quite simply. In fact, Harvey Weinstein gave those three guys their break. And now they're shocked. They can't believe it happened. But a lot of people also now trying to 
cover their ass and go, well, I had, I had no idea. That's bullshit. And they Most of these people knew what was going on. No one wanted to, wanted to say anything. So I hope, Rick, this is now the start of a revolution where we can actually clean out Hollywood with this um, and actually get to a more professional kind of mm. standards and practices in regards to how we treat the people in the industry. An absolutely disgusting story, but I'm glad he's been named and I'm Name glad the women out there and the people who have been assaulted now feel they are can raise this because it needs to be out there in the public. So this, I have heard he has gone into or going into therapy or rehab. Look, but at the end of the day, he's gone. As far as I'm concerned, like there. that's retroactively going mm. to therapy because you've been caught, yeah. not because you uh, knew that. Trying you, to better yourself. If, if he wasn't, mm. if this didn't come out, he just still would be him. That's right. So at the end of the day, Harvey Weinstein. I think his days in Hollywood are numbered. Yep. I, don't, I don't think he's... Uh, no, he's, he's not coming back. No, he's not coming back. So, hell of a story there. Huge. There's going to be a lot more to come out oh, yeah, no, through it, the it's few still, coming weeks. Yeah. So, uh, keep your eye out on that for sure. Now, let's move forward to something a bit more happy and a bit more positive. And, and Rick, we should change the name of the show from the weekly <laughs> spread to the Star Wars spread. Because, of course, what came out this <sighs> week was the phenomenal, mm. and I've just let the cat out of the bag, trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi, eighth film in the Star Wars franchise following the Skywalker saga. Holy shit, shit. did this hit with a bang. People were in, like me, <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> watching the trailer, and couldn't believe what I see. Look, at the end of the day, when you like Star Wars or not, you, can't, right. you can't avoid the fact how well made these trailers are and how fantastic the footage looks. Mm. Um, certainly, I do think the trailer is, uh, is... There's a lot of misdirection in there. They sh- they're they alluding to some pretty heavy plot points in the trailer, but I can guarantee you what you think you see on screen is yeah. won't actually be yeah. in the movie. But um, it looks absolutely brilliant. As of this morning, um, on StarWars.com alone, it had 26 million views. That's massive. Let alone... That is huge. Uh, you know, what the combined total would be from all the websites that are showing the trailer... Mm. I mean, you're talking hundreds of millions of views. Uh, Look, all I know is I've actually got my tickets. The thing was, as soon as they released the trailer, you could go online and bought bought tickets, which I absolutely did. I've got my centre row, row. right dead middle seats ready for um, The Last Jedi, which comes out in cinemas December 14. So I don't have to tell you guys that. I know all of you out there, well, most of you will be going to see it at oh, some definitely. stage. Absolutely brilliant. Now let's talk about what's in cinemas this week uh, here in little old Adelaide. Well, this is uh, we're getting into October yeah. now, middle of October, which means we're leading towards Halloween. Yep. And this time of year is generally when you start to see some of the bigger horror films come out. And this one is actually a, quite an interesting little concept. The movie's called Happy Death Day. And basically it's about a college student who's forced to relive the day of their own murder over mm-hmm. and, and over that. again until she can solve the identity of the killer. Now, it's Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day, but in a horror. But in a horror film. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic little concept. Now, the reviews earlier have been quite positive, saying this is a little bit of a gem to go and see. So, you know what, guys? Let's have a look at a little bit of a clip of Happy Death yeah. Day. You scared me. Oh, hey. You're up. Happy Death Day. We did PG-13 to be continued. Wow. That looks fun. All right. That looks absolute fun. I can't wait to have a look at that. So uh, go check that out at your local cinemas this week. Rick, I haven't That's covered it. all the stories and movies in the world. No, it's too but much. But there's the three stories we're talking about, as far as I'm concerned. So let's move into streaming. streaming. Hi, guys. Let's get into streaming. All right, let's get straight into Netflix. There is a great release that just got released today, I believe, James. Yes. Just got released today. Yes. Um, and it's called Mindhunter. Uh, and there's just big buzz around this show. Yeah, definitely. Huge buzz. It's huge buzz on this show. Um, and that aired uh, October 13th. So basically, it's, it's based on the true crime book, Mindhunter, inside the FBI's elite criminal 
unit, serial criminal unit. Mine Hunter has already been renowned for its second season. So yeah, they're you going to get it. it. You're going to get the first season, and then you're going to come into the Mate, second season. Big, big people behind this: David Fincher and uh, Charlize Theron. <laughs> so yeah, Charlize. So there. Yeah. Mm. Um, so it's set in 1979 in the early days of criminal psychology and criminal profiling. The uh, Federal Bureau of Investigations, Mindhunter, reveals, uh, revolves around the FBI agents who interview imprisoned serial killers in order to understand how such criminals think and apply this knowledge to solving ongoing cases. What a fascinating plot, I think. Mm. I, 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 for one, love these type of things. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It looks... Phenomenal. The trailer yeah, the tr- is just amazing. So, um, you know what? I think there's 10 episodes. There is 10. I think mm. they go for a, just under an hour. Yeah, something like, episode, that. something like that. So, yeah. But you know what? Let's just throw to a clip and see what you guys think. What are you doing? Just in case. Holden, they're not going to let you in with a sidearm. The guy is six foot nine, weighs 300 pounds. That's right. So, what's he going to do? He's going to take the fucking thing away from you, he's going to kill you with it. And then he's going to have sex with your face. There you go, guys. Mm. Mm. So definitely, a definitely worth a watch. That's a uh, must watch. Mine Hunters on Netflix. Get on it. Wow. All right, let's move over to Stan. If you are a DC fan, and you know, we are DC fans. Yep. Uh, yeah. If you're into the whole TV shows that they do, Flash. Uh, the Flash, Flash Season 3, all 23 episodes is now airing on Stan. So if you're not familiar with The Flash, after being struck by lightning, Barry Allen wakes up from his coma to discover he has been given the power of super speed, becoming The Flash, fighting crime in Central City. So if you're a Flash fan, get on it. You've got all 23 episodes. Big binge watch there if you are into that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Look, I, I, the first season was phenomenal. It was good, yeah. yeah. Phenomenal. Second season it was, a bit... was okay. Third season, a little bit a little up and down, but it's still... I still can't believe we've got three seasons of a Flash TV show. Yeah, so um, obviously they're doing something right. So yeah, definitely absolutely. get on with that. Now, I thought, well, we've just come off school holidays for the young ones mm-hmm. um, here in Australia. So I thought, well, let's do something for the kids. So we're going over to Foxtel. Um, DuckTales. If you're Duck familiar tales. with DuckTales, there's 10 episodes there. They go for 44 minutes, which is good. Keep the kids what? entertained. Yeah. Forty-four minutes for for the episodes. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are on at seven p.m. Uh, Friday on the Disney Channel. Mm-hmm. So basically, it just follows the the Duck family. Um, you've got who have you got? You've got uh, what, Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, you've got Huey, Dewey, Dewey and Louie. Louie yeah. uh, nephew Donald Duck. Launchpad McQuack. Yeah, Launchpad uh, McQuack. <laughs> Uh, and you got a whole lot, a lot more. So, guys, get on that for the kids. Is definitely. this the, the show that we grew up with, or was it no, they made this brand new, new episodes? This is all brand new. Wow, 2017. I love DuckTales. So I was yeah, young. yeah, yeah. It was fun. They used to have yeah the old the originals, yeah, but now yeah, they've yeah. kind of just brought it into this this era and made it a bit more modernised. Brilliant. So, but yeah, for 44 minutes for for a cartoon. It's a long cartoon. That is, it is. So, yeah. like I said, it'll keep the kids entertained. So definitely get on that. 7 p.m. Fridays on the Disney Channel for the kids on Foxtel. Brilliant. And that's it. That's it for streaming. That's it. Let's, get on gaming. let's get on some gaming. All right, let's have a look at the gaming. Well, the first thing I want to talk about this week is a game called Unknown Battlegrounds. So, Player Unknown's Battleground. And it is a huge Hunger Games style game that's been released on Steam. So, it's like a third person type of really open ended landscape yeah. type of thing. And it's. Look, they're saying it is that much of a big hit at the moment. It's going to reach 100 million players wow. um, soon. So it is a huge game, and it's a cheap game. You can get it on Steam for like 30 bucks, um, and certainly is one of those games. Well, why I wanted to talk about the story as much is how we're moving away from the traditional go buy a game for $100, and a lot of people now are buying games directly online, online. through platforms like Steam and, and Origin. So, and for that price... It is, right. absolutely. And it, look, it looks a lot of fun. I've seen a, a bit of footage of it. I haven't had a chance to actually play it yet, but it certainly looks like a game that, um, if it's already closing in on 2 million uh, players at one time playing online, it is going to, you can tell, it is on its way to go huge. So yeah. certainly a game you should have a look at and check out on. 
Now, the next thing I want to talk about is in the world again of VR. Now, I have been talking Excuse quite heavily about have. VR mm. throughout the last few weeks, and there's a real big reason why. We are on the cusp of an absolute VR explosion, and Oculus is one of the big players in the marketplace at the moment, and they're, they're making their moves. They're cutting prices to their console. So you can buy the Oculus Rift now for three ninety nine, which is absolutely fantastic. And that includes the controllers and the headset as well. Wow. It's absolutely fantastic little system. And I certainly think in the next few years, most households are going to have a, a, an Oculus Rift because, well, an Oculus Rift or even a, a Vive or PR, PlayStation has their own version as well. I think PlayStation VR, they call it. It is just a technology that I'm so excited about. I think... Um, Certainly, uh, when the consumers start going to the shops and buying mm. the games and that, it, I, I get a feeling console gaming might be on its way out. Because you think about it, you'd be able to put on a headset, you can either sit in your lounge and still play and be in that universe, yeah. or you can actually stand up and interact. It's just phenomenal stuff. But now that it's at $399, that makes even people like myself that's, that's all a of a sudden price. going... Yeah, four hundred yeah. bucks. I'll, I'll drop four hundred bucks on that. Yeah. So yeah, fantastic. So uh, if you are going to go and buy a VR headset, though, the only suggestion I do make is do your research. Make sure that you're picking the right unit for yourself. Very much like when you're picking out between a PlayStation Four and Xbox One or a Nintendo Switch. Just do your research. And when are they getting launched? Uh, well, uh, you can get the Oculus Rift now. It's been What's out that now. Yeah, oh, yeah. There there's, you go. there's no problems in going to get one. Wow. So. Definitely kick that out. Now, the last thing I want to talk about this week is the game that was released yesterday. Well, sorry, uh, two days ago, Friday the 13th, and that is Evil Within 2. Now, the Evil Within was a little Dark Horse smash hit that came out a couple of years ago, and now they've released um, the Evil Within 2. Now, it is very much a brutal kind of a game, um, but it is very exciting at the same time. Um, and basically, the concept is is that the uh, protagonist, Sebastian uh, Castanellos, has to rescue his daughter who's gone thought dead. So he, like Matrix style, goes into a system called STEM, and he has to go and rescue his daughter. Very creepy, very atmospheric, and a lot of fun. It's out now to buy. Let's have a look at a clip of Evil Within 2. Now, people sometimes think games aren't scary. But wow, oh, that shit. is... Yeah, it can get pretty scary. Pretty Especially good. if you're in a room by yeah. yourself, dark, with the, you know, playing it. But it looks like a lot of fun. So go pick up The Evil Within 2. Rick, that's all I've got on gaming. It's time to talk music. Music. All right, Jace, big news for music. And uh, we have covered this before, but we said we'd give you more information. And obviously, you would have seen it all over the news and all the social sites and everything else. But we are talking Pink. Pink has launched her dates for the Australian tour. Her new album, Beautiful Trauma, has been released on uh, October 10th. So definitely go out and grab a copy of that. And uh, the dates that she's released for that... Her tour is in Perth on July 3rd and 4th. She's hitting the Adelaide Entertainment Centre on July 10th and 11th. Mm. Melbourne's Rod Labour Arena, she's there on the 16th, 17th, 19th and 20th. Uh, in the Sydney Bank Arena, wow. she's there from the 3rd, 4th, 6th and 7th of August. And the Brisbane Entertainment Centre on August 14th and 15th. But knowing Pink and how good her concerts are, she's going to redo more shows, I dare say. Yeah, I reckon last time, last time she was mm. here, she only supposed to be here for a couple of weeks and ended up being for like two months. Months, she, she was here. Australia. She was doing shows and shows after shows. Yeah. So I dare say that's what's going to happen again. Tickets are available, so definitely jump online and grab your tickets for Pink. You don't want to miss out because she's a phenomenal performer. So get oh, on that, guys. Yes, you are. All right, let's get on to the Arias. Now, the Arias, if you're not too familiar, are the Australian Music Awards yeah. here in Australia. And there's a lot of buzz going around at the moment about the women in music. 
and uh, the nominees have uh, the nominations have come out and there are a lot of female Australian females That's that have fantastic. come out which is fantastic so we're talking about Jessica Malboy uh, we're talking about indie singer songwriter Amy Shark uh, they've collected an impressive six nominations and the wonderful and talented Sia who is also from Adelaide um, she's up for five trophies at this year's awards to be held uh, on November 28th so in the world, uh, I guess what's coming around now with you know, gender equality, it's really, really good to see this happening at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. So. And, you know, Australia's got a fantastic yeah. legacy of strong female artists anyway. So, um, And it's just great to see that, that now is yep. continuing and moving forward. Um, we've got unbelievable talent here in we Australia. Do, we do. Um, and Sia is, um, she's released her dates for touring as well, but unfortunately she is not coming to um, Adelaide. She's not coming home. Yeah, she's not coming home. She's only doing short three um, uh, concerts. So definitely jump on her website and you'll get to see those dates. Okay. Now, this is huge news, Jace. This has been around. This is hilarious. Uh, Eminem and Donald Trump. Oh, yes. This is fantastic. I think this is great what Eminem did. So basically at the BET Hip Hop Awards, yep. the Detroit rapper Eminem challenged his fans uh, to decide who you like more, Eminem or Trump. It's not really a fair comparison. It's not. So, I mean, <laughs> we all have our opinions on Donald Trump. Um, so what Eminem did, uh, he actually had a, uh, a rap yeah, challenge, a I battle. guess, a battle, you you would call it. Um, so Tuesday night, calling the president everything from Donald the bitch <laughs> to Donald uh, the racist grandpa, an explosive 4.5 minute freestyle rap. So basically he was just hanging shit on the president on a live TV. And, uh, and, and if you... Uh, Phenomenal. And it was... Mate, he was oh, going for he it, He was... Oh, he was on fire. Mate, and you know what? Good on him for doing it. You know, he's got some balls doing it. Um, but you know what, guys? Let's throw to a clip yes, and we'll please. show you this battle rap. <laughs> he says he wants to lower our taxes. Then who's going to pay for his extravagant trips back and forth with his fam to his golf resorts and his mansions? Same shit that he tormented Hillary for and he slandered, then does it more from his endorsement of Bannon, support for the Klansmen. Mate, that is a nuclear attack on Trump. I oh. don't know if, if Trump has responded because <laughs> Trump usually gets on Twitter and starts oh, ranting if, if everyone's seen their, his Twitters. Yes. So, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Get on that, guys. And that's it for, for music. Well, that's it for the show. Yeah, that's it for the show. That's obviously what we found interesting this week. Now, before we go on to um, closing out the show, Rick, I thought I'd take uh, this opportunity to talk about uh, what's going to be happening in the next few weeks. Yes. Now, uh, next week, we're taking a week off hiatus. My colleague here, for work purposes, is actually going to be interstate yes. for a week and a bit. So there will be no show weekly spread next week, although there will be our regular uh, list of other shows being released every couple of days throughout that two weeks, which is absolutely fantastic. Also want to talk about in uh, November 17th, I believe, yes. 18th and 19th, we'll actually be doing, um, be at the uh, Supernova Comic Con here in Adelaide. Yes. Um, Rick here so is, is on a mission. I'm on a mission. We have the great Stan Lee um, gracing Adelaide with his presence. Yes. And this man here is on a mission to meet him, to meet get him, a photo, get photograph, a signature. Photograph and everything. So, but so. we'll be releasing little clips and bits and pieces from there, just to what the atmosphere was yeah. like and what was going on, which will be absolutely unbelievable. And then and the last thing I want to talk about news coming up for the overall for the Pop Culture Spread channel. Yes. There are going to be some big changes big, coming big, up in the big, next big. six weeks. Exciting. Um, very exciting. Very exciting stuff, which means we're going to be having a new set, guys. There'll be a complete new refurbishment, and there'll be some new shows coming up, a uh, complete new redesign of our logo and everything else. Um, certainly, the last three months, Rick, has been an, an honour and a privilege to be able oh, to do this with awesome. you awesome. Um, and, and build this channel from nothing, from a crazy idea, from a couple of old men going, hey, we've got something to say on and YouTube. We've... 
to where we are today. We, you know, we're, we've done over 62, 63 shows yeah. at this yeah, stage. It's getting there. So, so. We, we've certainly been learning a lot, you know, over the last three months. And we're really excited to move into phase two of pop culture spread. Um, and there'll be a lot more exciting news about that as we move forward. Very, but that's it, Rick. Exciting. That's all I really wanted to talk about in regards to moving forward. Is anything just, you want yeah, just want to say a massive thanks to YK Productions. Uh, those guys are phenomenal. Um, they've been working really, really hard on all our graphics that we do on our on our videos, and the new logos look fantastic. Which you guys Jacob, can't so wait for you to see. That they've stuff. been working really hard on those, so I'm very, very honoured and privileged to be working with them. And just yeah, uh, it's just great having Jace with me and doing what we do. I just, just like you said, we're just well, look, we're having we're a lot of fun. We are. Right? That's, um, that's and, what, and it comes that's down what it's all about. We're having fun. That's it. We hope you guys are starting to enjoy what we're trying to create here yeah. and trying to build. So hang on, get involved, talk to us. We want this channel to grow what you want to see as well. So it's really important that you're dialoguing with us and you're, you're telling right. us uh, what you think and what you like and what you don't like. And Rick, how are they going to do that? Uh, how do they contact us? Guys, you can, there's a couple of ways you can do it. If you like this video, please comment below. Um, please give us a, a subscribe. Uh, give us a like as well on the video. Um, and then if you want to go to our social media sites, follow all our social media sites. And on our Facebook page, there's a link which you can email us as well. So jump Brilliant. on that email and we'll get back to you regarding your inquiry. Well, fantastic, guys. That's it for us this week. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Go out, watch some movies, movies, watch some TV, play some games and That's listen it. to some music. We'll see you next time on the Weekly Spread. See ya.